All right. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Friday Night Hoops here in Holman, uh, uh, or excuse me, here in Holman, Wisconsin, at the Bernie L. Ferry Fieldhouse, as the Onalaska Hilltoppers take on the Holman Vikings. Holman, five and eleven on the year, three and three in conference play. They're trying to keep things rolling as they have a tough task tonight against these Hilltoppers. Holman's currently on a three-game winning streak after their last game defeating the Sparta Spartans by 19 points. Alex Burgett and Caden Wilbur are the top two scorers for the Vikings with 13 points and 11 points respectively. The Vikings have lost to the Hilltoppers the last four times they played, their last win going back to the 2021 season. Vikings have another tough game tonight, but if they can start hot out the gates, you never know what can happen. As for the Onalaska Hilltoppers, they come in tonight 11-5, undefeated in conference play 6-0 in the Mississippi Valley Conference they took down lacrosse central by nine points in their last game to keep things rolling in the MVC on Alaska took down Holman earlier in the year by almost 30 points that was back in December before the winter break they've also been a part of a bunch of different tournaments around the state as well as having a border battle with a Minnesota high school team that was a couple days ago Evan Anderson leads the pack, averaging 21 points a game, but overall as a group, this is a tough team to beat this year. She'll be an exciting one. We're gonna take a quick break, and when we come back, it'll be the national anthem and tip-off. Hungry? Get to the Blue Moon, the Highway 35 landmark across from the Big Fish. We're open and still serving great food specials every day of the week. Sunday, kids eat for just 99 cents. Monday, get 75 cent boneless wings. Got five bucks? Come in Tuesday for $2 off appetizers or Wednesday for $1 wings. Got any friends? Good for you. Bring them in Thursday for burgers. Friday, we've got the best fish fry in town. And Saturday, prime rib. Breakfast till two? Done. Everything you want every day of the week at the Blue Moon. Remember when service stations actually cared about service? These days, it seems like fast and good enough are the new standards. Andy's Main Street Auto doesn't see it that way. When you stop into Andy's for a full service oil change, you get real service. Your oil change comes with a 21-point inspection, including brakes. Plus, all of your fluids get topped off. Top to bottom, front to back, for 50 years, Andy's has been repairing your car or truck. Andy's Main Street Auto in Holman putting service back into service stations.
great job there from the Holman Pep fan as the starting lineups from both teams are about to begin. And tip off coming up in just a second. Isaac Skem, Adam Skifton, Ian Cowell, Evan Anderson, and Noah Chenault are the starting five for the Onalaska Hilltoppers or the Vikings. Keenan Iserman, Jace Leeser, Caden Wilbur, Noah Ertz, and Alex Burgett. We hope to have a good one here tonight. Good turnout from both schools as these towns are right next to each other. Not too far of a drive for Onalaska. And again, Vikings on a three game win streak. Hoping to continue to do that as the season is almost over. We got one more month and then playoffs. Hoping the Vikings can keep things rolling. The Vikings in white with maroon trimming. The Hilltoppers in purple with silver trimming. And we're about to get things underway. Here at the Bernie L. Ferry Fieldhouse in Holman, Wisconsin. Ertz and Anderson will do the jump ball. And Anderson smacked it right out of bounds. And it'll be Vikings ball. That's one way to win the tip. All right, here we go. 36 minutes of Friday Night Hoops here in Holman, Wisconsin. Wilbur has it now, he drives right, tried to put up a layup, no good. Rebound goes to the Hilltoppers. They move quickly. Evan Anderson with it. He box, backs down his man inside, finds Isaac Skemp and he puts it up for two. And it's quickly two nothing Hilltoppers. Iserman has it now. He finds Leeser. Leeser hands it off to Burgett, right wing. Burgett crosses over to his right, spins left, puts up a shot, looked good but did not go in. Offensive rebound by Leeser, and the putback is good. Jace Leeser with the first bucket for the Vikings. And the first minute has been completed in this ball game. Anderson tried to drive right, put up a shot, no good. Rebound Vikings. Leeser will take it up. Taking a screen from Ertz. Thought about the three, now gives it to Ertz. Ertz trying to back his man down. Doing a post move, then kicks it out to Iserman, who gives it to Leeser now, right wing, dribbling around, looking for somebody. Finds Iserman. Iserman driving left. Picks up his dribble, tried to spin move, put up the shot. He hands it off to Leeser for three. That's no good. Gets his offensive rebound again. His putback again. It's off the glass and in. Jace Leeser, the first two buckets for Holman. 4-2 our score. Evan Anderson with it, feeding Skemp inside. Little mismatch there, but he's doubled. Has to kick it out. Finds Anderson. Anderson puts up a shot. That one is no good. Rebound goes to Holman. Leeser with it now, finds Iserman, top of the key, hands it back to Leeser, they're passing it back and forth. Iserman finds Burgett, left wing, tipped, pass there from Coel, but the Vikings still have possession. Leeser now, tried to find Wilbur in the corner, and it goes out of bounds, turnover there, it'll be Hilltopper's ball. Noel Chenault will cross or try to cross half court. Lisa on him, good defense, he loses his dribble. Has to find somebody and Onalaska is forced to call a timeout. Good defense there from Jace Leeser. And not a bad start for the Holman Vikings. Onalaska takes a timeout, we'll take a timeout as well. This is high school basketball on WKTY. Cheering for your team at the game can definitely give them a needed push on the field. Cheering for your plumber, on the other hand, 
Well, the team at Bernie Buckner can't say it happens every day, but they'll get the job done no matter what. So make some noise for your team at the next game, and if you need a plumber or someone to take on your next commercial HVAC project, call Bernie Buckner. They're proud to support high school athletics, and they aren't afraid to tackle your toilet trouble. Go to BernieBucknerINC.com. Welcome back. Tyler Belke here, happy to have you alongside with me Friday night. 4-2 our score. Vikings lead it early. Chenault finally gets past half court after the timeout. Feeds it to Skem. Inside, Wilbur on him. Skem making a post move, puts up a shot, it's good. Isaac Skem with the first two buckets for on Alaska as well. So Leeser and Skemp are the only two scorers so far. Obviously not a lot of points yet, so we'll see what happens. Wilbur finds Ertz. Burgett, Iserman for three. Rolls around the rim, no good. Offensive rebound goes to Leeser. That's his third offensive board. He gives it to Iserman. Back to Leeser, who gives it to Wilbur. Left wing. He's got Skifton on him. Finds Leeser. Trying to take a screen from Ertz, but he loses the ball. S Noah Chenault has it, but then he loses it. Trying to find his teammate. So back in the Vikings possession. It's Burgett, who passes it quickly to Leeser. Leeser finds Wilbur, who quickly swings it to Burgett. Forget quickly double team finds Ertz inside. Ertz goes up, left side, no good. And he hit the deck hard. Hilltoppers moving quickly. And they say it's a foul on Caden Wilbur, a blocking foul as Isaac Skemp was trying to put up a shot. So he'll get two. That's Caden Wilbur's first. And the first foul of the game. First free throw from Skemp, no good. Skemp coming into tonight, 76% free throw shooter. As he makes the second. 5-4 our score, Vikings down one. Under 14 to play here in the first half. Leeser finds Iserman in the corner, he's double teamed quickly and he's fouled. We'll see who that's on. Obviously, there were two Hilltoppers on him. And we're going to call it on Evan Anderson. Evan Anderson the first so that's his first. Vikings one bound it at their own baseline. As he passed to Ertz to Wilbur, finds Iserman inside, and he walked. He picked up his pivot foot, trying to. Pivot around his defender, almost 360 to put up a shot. So a Viking turnover there, and a full court press shown by Holman. Chenault gets past it easily. Chenault driving left, tried to kick it out to Anderson, but that was picked off by Iserman. But the last touch by a Hilltopper, as he couldn't hang on to it 100%. But still Vikings ball. 13-32 left on the clock, now counting. Iserman around the Holman logo. Finds Burgett. Burgett thought about it, then gives it back to Iserman, top of the key. He drives right, picks up his dribble. Finds Wilbur. Wilbur, deep three. Liked the confidence, but did not go in. It looked good. Hilltoppers move quickly. Skifton with it. Left side, he loses the ball. Vikings ball. Jack Smith checks in for the Hilltoppers. I didn't mention earlier, Landon Ellis also checks in for the Vikings. That was a couple seconds ago for Noah Ertz. It's the only substitution from the original starting five for the Vikings. Wilbur has it now. Crossover right. And they call an offensive foul. So it'll be on Landon Ellis, and that will be a turnover. 
and his first foul. Full court press still shown. Inbound it to Anderson. Iserman on him. Anderson slowly but surely gets across half court. Trying to feed Skemp inside on the left side, or at least they're trying to look for him. However, it's a three-point attempt by Jack Smith, who just checked into the game. That's no good. Offensive rebound goes to Onalaska. Now it's Anderson trying to drive right side. Three Vikings on him. No good. But guess who's there? Jack Smith with the putback. As no one boxed him out. 7-4 our score. Peyton Seacamp checked in now. He has the ball, hands it off to Burgett. Burgett hasn't taken a shot yet. Again, leading scorer for the Vikings this season. He finds Iserman, who finds Ellis now. Jack Smith on him. Ellis trying to look for someone. Finds Iserman, left corner, who swings it out to Seacamp. He finds Burgett. With Skemp on him. Burgett trying to drive right, picks up his dribble. Kicks it out to Seacamp. Seacamp driving right. He picks up his dribble. Turnaround jumper. It's good. That looked pretty. Peyton Seacamp with the bucket. And it's 7-6. Under 12 to play here in the first half. Evan Anderson finds Adam Skifton, who swings it to Koal, who now finds Skemp for three. And that one's good. Isaac Skemp carrying the load so far for Onalaska. He has eight of the 10 points. 10-6 ten our score. Vikings were trying to find Ellis inside. Loses it. Seacamp gets it. Puts up a little floater. It's good. Peyton Seacamp with his second bucket. 10-8 our score. Hilltoppers moving quickly. Three-point attempt. Cole, no good. An offensive rebound and a foul is called. And they say it's on the floor. It'll be on... Keenan Iserman. That'll be his first. And Jaron Rink, as well as Parker Lindbergh, checks in for Leeser and Wilbur. Nice two point attempt there from Evan Anderson. That's his first bucket of the game. And the score is now 12-8, under 11 to play. Seacamp wins it. Finds Rink, hands it off to Burgett, left corner. Now a three-point attempt from Seacamp. It's good. Peyton Seacamp for three. 12-11 our score. On Alaska moving quickly. Finds an open Ian Cole inside. And a timeout will be called by Holden. On Alaska leads by three. We'll take a break as well. This is high school basketball on WKTY. I'm Angela Sherwinski. I'm a mortgage loan officer at WMB Financial in Holman. I'm Dave Justice, community president of WMB Financial in Holman. The relationship building we do, the reputations we have, the tenure we have in lending between the two of us, it's almost 40 years. Dave's older than I am, so obviously he's got a few more of those years on me. Holman's got a good thing with Angela in town. She is one of the best mortgage lenders I've ever encountered. Our bank is WMB Financial, and we are all Holman. WMB Financial, more than a bank. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Oh, I have so many resolutions for 2024. Yeah? Like what? Go to the gym, try to keep a plan alive, save some money. I hear you, but you can totally save money with a little help from Citizens First Bank, of course. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they help me set up a savings account. I can track my transactions with mobile banking. Lots of stuff. Wow, I'll give them a call. From your first account to every other first that comes next. Citizens First Bank. Banking with people. Member FDIC. Welcome back to Bernie L. Ferry Fieldhouse here in Holman, Wisconsin. Peyton Seacamp starting to feel it. He has seven points early. Seacamp on the season only averages six and a half points a game. Two point attempt from Iserman is no good. And on Alaska gets the rebound. Anderson driving left, spin move right, puts up a shot, and they say he is fouled. There were three Vikings there. Leeser tried to come from behind with a block. I wonder if he got called for the foul. No, they'll say it's on rink, so it was someone in front of him. So Evan Anderson will get two. Again, the leading scorer for the Hilltoppers. First one is good. 
Anderson, a 77% free throw shooter. And he makes them both. So 16-11 our score. Vikings down five and a full court press is shown, or it's a trap actually by Onalaska. They're turning up the defensive pressure as well as they're up five with just over 10 minutes to go and a traveling violation is called on Parker Lindbergh. So a couple turnovers early for the Vikings. Not ideal when taking on a good opponent like Onalaska. Hammond Anderson gets the inbound pass. Eiserman on him. Crosses half court and gives it to Noah Chenault, who's at the logo. Leeser on him. Chenault going left, trying to find anybody. Good defense from the Vikings. Finds Skemp, quickly double team, kicks it out. Good ball moving from Onalaska. Three point attempt. It's good. Jack Smith for three. 19 11 our score. Good job getting out of the trap there from the Vikings. They need to move the ball quickly to find an open shot. Leeser has it. Right wing, finds Seacamp. Seacamp to Lindbergh. With Anderson on him. Lindbergh looking around. Finds Leeser in the corner who goes back out. Trying to take a screen from Rink. Doesn't really go too well. As Lindbergh has it, right corner. Trying to do anything with the ball. Finds Seacamp, and it was going to be a good pass from Rink. However, that one taken away. Two-point attempt from Skemp is no good. Rebound goes to Leeser. And Holman down eight. Thunder nine to play here in the first half. Lindbergh, right corner, looking around. Drives towards the middle, finds Leeser. Easter kicks it back to Lindbergh in the right corner. A couple of jab steps. Now taking it back to the right wing. Now he's at the top of the key. Finds Leeser. On Alaska switching everything. Leeser finds Iserman for three. Count it. <laughs> Keenan Iserman with the three point basket. And it's 19 14 our score. And a little swing from behind. It works, and a foul is called. Nice job there from Jace Leeser coming from behind and punching the ball out. Chenault will be called with the foul. That's his first. So it'll be Vikings ball. Will Burr will inbound it to Lindbergh. Parker Lindbergh will take it up. Eight minutes to go. Lindbergh gives it to Wilbur. Back to Lindbergh, and now on Alaska is in a 3-2 zone. See how Holman can break it, and another traveling violation is called. I think that's the third one here in the first half. It's the second time I see where the feet move before the dribble does. And unfortunately, you can't get away with that in high school. Ian Cole finds Jack Smith, top of the key, who finds Skifton. Skifton driving to the middle, picks up his dribble in the paint, kicks it back out to Jack Smith. Smith finds Chenault, Noah Chenault, kicks it out to Evan Anderson for three. That one's good. Evan Anderson with his first three on Alaska, goes back up by eight again, 22-14 our score. Wilbur trapped in the corner with two Hilltoppers on him, finds a cutting Lindbergh, who then was trying to kick it out to Seacamp. That one is tipped and intercepted by Onalaska, and a foul is called. Hilltoppers very aggressive on the defensive side of things. Vikings have to act and react quickly. Vikings trying to do the same thing. Apply pressure on the defensive side of the ball. With the full court press still being shown. On Alaska crosses half court. Here's Skifton with it. Finds Skep inside. There's a mismatch. Kicks it out. Three point attempt. Chenault. That one is in. Noah Chenault. With the three point bucket. 
25-14 our score. Holman hasn't scored in a while ever since this zone has started. And that one goes out of bounds. It'll be Hilltopper's ball. The Hilltoppers has thrown a lot of different things at Holman defensively. Again, it's how quick they can react as Onalaska throws that one away. It'll be Vikings ball. 6.30 left on the clock here in the first half. As Leeser will inbound it to Iserman, who hands it back to Leeser, who will take it up the court. Zone still being shown from on Alaska. As traps in the corner been working well for the Hilltoppers. That one tipped out of bounds. Last touch by a Hilltopper. It'll be Vikings ball. Inbound goes to Leeser. Leeser finds Iserman. Burgett, deep three. Hits the back rim, no good. Offensive rebound, Wilbur. However, that one's taken away. Two point attempt. Oh, denied from behind. Oh, they call a foul. And I think the entire home inside disagrees. I didn't hear a slap, but honestly, I got headset on, so I can't really hear much. But judging by the fans, they disagree with that. Free throw attempt is no good from Jack Smith. Smith, a 50% free throw shooter going into tonight. He's now under that. Clay Helmerich checks in for the Vikings. And Smith makes the second. Oh, he's back up to 50%. Vikings trying to move quickly as Wilbur finds Burgett, who kicks it back to Wilbur. Helmerich inside, finds Burgett for three. Off the mark. On Alaska with it now. It's Skifton. Finds Cole. Cole, nice deflection there from Seacamp. He gets it. Good steal there. Burgett, wide open corner three. That one doesn't fall. A little cold to start the game for Burgett. Could be a different outcome if he gets hot. That was a nice shot there from Evan Anderson off the glass and in. 28-14 our score and a timeout is called from Holman. Boy, if one of those threes were able to fall for Alex Burgett, this could be a different score. We're going to take a break as well. This is High School Boys Basketball on WKTY. Hungry? Get to the Blue Moon, the Highway 35 landmark across from the Big Fish. We're open and still serving great food specials every day of the week. Sunday, kids eat for just 99 cents. Monday, get 75 cent boneless wings. Got five bucks? Come in Tuesday for $2 off appetizers or Wednesday for $1 wings. Got any friends? Good for you. Bring them in Thursday for burgers. Friday, we've got the best fish fry in town. And Saturday, prime rib. Breakfast till 2? Done. Everything you want every day of the week at the Blue Moon. Welcome back, everyone, to Holman, Wisconsin. Not the best weather outside, but luckily we play indoors here at the Bernie L. Ferry Fieldhouse. Vikings will inbound it. It's Iserman who finds Seacamp. Seacamp has really been the best scorer so far, at least in the first half for the Vikings. And they also look for Burgett to get hot. Three-point attempt from Wilbur. That one's no good. And the rebound goes to the Hilltoppers. They're moving quickly. Evan Anderson left side. Backs down his man. Wilbur tried to come from behind to block it. He does not. Anderson with the basket. Wilbur finds Helmerich. He's going to shoot the two. That one hits the back iron. No good. It was open. Why not shoot it? On Alaska moving quickly again. Wilbur trying to draw the charge attempt. And they say blocking foul and one for Isaac Skemp. Wilbur did look a little awkward trying to draw the charge. He was kind of leaning towards Skemp. So they call the blocking foul. And he'll have a chance to make a three-point play. 
this game hopefully doesn't get away from Holman they need to get a bucket here quick three point attempt from Seacamp is no good and the shots just aren't falling there's a lid on that rim here in the first half three point attempt from Chenault that one's no good and out of bounds last touch by Onalaska Vikings ball 429 left in the first half and Burgett will take it up Cross half court. He finds Iserman. Hands it off back to Burgett. Burgett finds Seacamp. Looking around. Now starts to dribble. Crossover left. Spins right. Puts up a shot. Fouled. Oh, didn't go in. Almost did for an and one, but he'll get two. Peyton Seacamp trying to make things happen here with over four minutes to go in the first half. Trying to make things a little bit easier going into halftime. And Seacamp with seven points. He's got half the team's points here in the first half. Looking to get more. First one is good. Seacamp an 89% free throw shooter. As he makes the second one as well. Toby Newman checks in for Seacamp with 4.13 on the clock. 33-16 is our score. Full court press still being shown for the Vikings. Anderson finally gets past half court. He drives right, loses the ball. Nice steal there from Helmerich. Here come the Vikings. Iserman with it. Drives to the middle, kicks it out to Newman. Newman hands it back off to Iserman. Drives towards the middle, kicks it out. Helmrich for three in the corner. Long. No good. Got to take the shot, though. It was open. So here comes on Alaska. Inside to Chenault. He's denied by Wilbur. Offensive rebound, Anderson. He puts up a two. No good. No one can get a rebound but Anderson. And wow, what an and one from Evan Anderson as he was falling back and made the shot. Helmrich will be charged with the foul. This will be a heck of a three-point play if Anderson makes the free throw. Skifton checks in for Skemp. 3.26 on the clock here in the first half. Free throw attempt, no good. So it cannot convert the and one. Vikings move quickly. Wilbur has it, drives right, kicks it out. Burgett in the left corner who swings it to Newman and Iserman. Iserman to Burgett. Burgett dribbling around, goes behind the back, drives left, and called for a travel. He picked up his pivot foot as well. I think that's the fourth travel here in the first half for the Vikings. Not ideal. Can't get an offense going with costly turnovers like that. We've hit the three minute mark here in the first half. 35 16 our score. And a traveling violations call this time on Noah Chenault. So the Vikings will get it right back with 2.58 on the clock. Inbound goes to Iserman. He dribbles and hands it off to Wilbur. Wilbur finds Newman, swings it over to Burgett. Burgett looking for somebody, can't find anyone, starts his dribbling. Finds Iserman who swings it to Newman. Newman finds Burgett on the inside. Backs the man down, kicks it out, Wilbur for three. No good. Gets his own rebound, and oh, he stepped out of bounds trying to get his own rebound. It was a good effort there. From Wilbur. Just couldn't keep the feet in bounds. So Hilltoppers have it now. Two and a half minutes to go in the first half. Cole has it with Burgett on him. Trying to find a 
cutting Anderson. That was tipped, but he still got the ball. Anderson in the corner now. Drives towards the middle, kicks it out. Good ball movement. Skifton for three in the corner. Count it. Adam Skifton. And that's his first points of the game. 38-16 our score. Forget looking around, finds Newman, who swings it to Iserman. On Alaska off the zone now. Newman with it, trying to find Iserman inside. The pass was a little bit too high, and Iserman loses it. Here come the Hilltoppers. Three-point attempt, Evan Anderson. Why not? 41-16 our score. Evan Anderson with his second three. Here's Newman with a three. That one's no good. There has to be a lid on this rim. The Vikings cannot buy a bucket right now. But they've had great looks. Hilltoppers with it, 120 to go. Vikings will take anything they can get for some momentum. Going into halftime, three point attempt, no good, but an offensive rebound goes to Chenault. Chenault puts up a shot, and it's good. 43-16 our score, a minute to go. See what the Vikings do here with the final minute. Forget with it. Looking for a screen from Helmerich, he gets one. And he gives it off to Wilbur. Wilbur finds Iserman top of the key. He drives right, picks up his dribble, spin, puts up a shot, hits the front rim, and rolls in. Keenan Iserman with the basket. And 30 seconds left here in the first half. Onalaska might hold this off and take the last shot. 43-18 our score. It's Skemp with it. He finds Noah Chenault, who's dribbling around the Holman logo. Wilbur on him. Chenault trying to drive past Wilbur. Almost lost it. Good defense. And it will be a turnover. For on Alaska, as there was no forward progress from Chenault. Or let's go, they called the double dribble. So Leeser with it. Seven seconds ago. What can the Vikings do here? Finds a cutting Wilbur. He puts up a shot and he's fouled. Kind of got smushed by two Hilltoppers there. So Wilbur will get two. 3.8 on the clock. Wilbur, a 68% free throw shooter. He'll get his first two. First one, no good. Second attempt from Wilbur. That one hits the front rim. And off the glass and in. So 43-19 the score. Last shot attempt from Anderson. Does it count? The refs say it does. Evan Anderson with a quick bucket to end the first half. And on Alaska, dominating first half for them. 45-19 our score as we go into halftime. We're going to take a break ourselves. We'll be back with some scoring from both teams. This is High School Basketball on WKTY. Remember when service stations actually cared about service? These days, it seems like fast and good enough are the new standards. Andy's Main Street Auto doesn't see it that way. When you stop into Andy's for a full service oil change, you get real service. Your oil change comes with a 21-point inspection, including brakes. Plus, all of your fluids get topped off. Top to bottom, front to back, for 50 years, Andy's has been repairing your car or truck. Andy's Main Street Auto in Holman putting service back into service stations. Cheering for your team at the game can definitely give them a needed push on the field. Cheering for your plumber on the other hand, well, the team at Bernie Buckner can't say it happens every day, but they'll get the job done no matter what. 
So make some noise for your team at the next game. And if you need a plumber or someone to take on your next commercial HVAC project, call Bernie Buckner. They're proud to support high school athletics and they aren't afraid to tackle your toilet trouble. Go to BernieBucknerINC.com. I'm Angela Sherwinski. I'm a mortgage loan officer at WMB Financial in Holman. I'm Dave Justice, community president of WMB Financial in Holman. The relationship building we do, the reputations we have, the tenure we have in lending between the two of us, it's almost 40 years. Dave's older than I am, so obviously he's got a few more of those years on me. Holman's got a good thing with Angela in town. She is one of the best mortgage lenders I've ever encountered. Our bank is WMB Financial, and we are all Holman. WMB Financial, more than a bank. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Oh, I have so many resolutions for 2024. Yeah? Like what? Go to the gym, try to keep a plan alive, save some money. I hear you, but you can totally save money with a little help from Citizens First Bank, of course. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they help me set up a savings account. I can track my transactions with mobile banking. Lots of stuff. Wow. I'll give them a call. From your first account to every other first that comes next. Citizens First Bank. Banking with people. Member FDIC. Hungry? Get to the Blue Moon, the Highway 35 landmark across from the Big Fish. We're open and still serving great food specials every day of the week. Sunday, kids eat for just 99 cents. Monday, get 75-cent boneless wings. Got five bucks? Come in Tuesday for $2 off appetizers or Wednesday for $1 wings. Got any friends? Good for you. Bring them in Thursday for burgers. Friday, we've got the best fish fry in town. And Saturday, prime rib. Breakfast till 2? Done. Everything you want every day of the week at the Blue Moon.
Welcome back. Second half about to get underway here at Holman, Wisconsin. 45-19 is the score at halftime. Both teams out, getting a couple more shots up. The hoop won't have it for the Vikings. They've had a lot of good looks, but shots are just not falling for Holman. Let's take a look at scores, leading scores from both teams. For Holman, it's Peyton Seacamp with nine. He was hot early and then just couldn't really get a shot off towards the end of the first half there. Behind him, it's Keenan Iserman with five and Jace Leeser with four. And then Wilbur has the one point to make it 19. For on Alaska, it's who else but Evan Anderson. He's been the leading scorer all season long. And he has 18 points going into halftime. His season high is 32 this year. We'll see if he can get to that. Behind him, it's Isaac Skemp with 10, as he's averaging almost 14 points a game this season. He will be well above that if he can make two more shots, three more shots. And then Jack Smith with six. Those are the top three scorers for on Alaska. Again, they had put up 45 points. As the clock ticking down, we're about to get the second half started. Here at Friday Night Hoops at the Bernie L. Ferry Fieldhouse. Again, Holman, they've had some looks. Again, Onalaska's thrown a lot of different stuff at them defensively. Zones, full court press, full, a lot of traps in the corners. And Holman has still had some chances and they've had some shots that they were able to get off. Open looks too, but just have not fallen. If they have, this could be a little bit of a different score and the lead may not be as, as big for on Alaska. Here's Skemp inside, denied from behind from Wilbur. He goes up again and this time is fouled. So he'll get two. Foul will be on Keenan Iserman, his second. So Skemp will go to the line. Makes the first one. That makes our score 46-19. And he'll make them both. He's got three made free throws tonight. So here come the Vikings, first time with the ball here in the second half. Wilbur in the right corner, looking for somebody, finds Leeser. Leeser at the top of the key, hands it off, oh, fake handoff to Burgett. Finds Ertz inside. Ertz hands it back off to Leeser, who gives it to Ertz, who's behind the three-point line, who then finds Iserman. Iserman takes a screen from Ertz, crossover, loses the ball. That goes into the hands of Cole. He puts up a left shot, no good, rebound. And a putback attempt from Chenault. He gets hacked, so he'll get two. That was Noah Ertz. Swiping down, trying to get a block. And he got all arm there. First attempt from Chenault, no good. Quick substitutions. For Holman, it's C. Camp and Ellis for Burgett and Ertz. And C. Camp, leading scorer for the Vikings so far this game, and Chanel missed them both. So Vikings have it now. It's Iserman, top of the key. He moves to the right wing, picks up his dribble, finds C. Camp. C. Camp has Cole on him, who finds Wilbur at the right wing. Little crossover move, tried to do a spin move, but that one taken away from Anderson. Onalaska moving quickly. It was a lob attempt to Anderson. He still comes up with the ball and makes the shot. So Evan Anderson has 20. Ellis inside, hits the bottom of the backboard, didn't 
really know where he was. And a three-point attempt from Anderson. Why not? Evan Anderson, his third three-pointer of the game. And a quick timeout there from Holman. We'll take a timeout as well. This is high school basketball on WKTY. Remember when service stations actually cared about service? These days, it seems like fast and good enough are the new standards. Andy's Main Street Auto doesn't see it that way. When you stop into Andy's for a full service oil change, you get real service. Your oil change comes with a 21 point inspection, including brakes. Plus, all of your fluids get topped off. Top to bottom, front to back, for 50 years, Andy's has been repairing your car or truck. Andy's Main Street Auto in Holman putting service back into service stations. Welcome back to Holman, Wisconsin. Holman, unfortunate, was on the wrong side of a scoring run there. Don Alaska pouring it on early. And Ander and Evan Anderson himself Anderson averages 21.6 points per game on the season. He's got 23 tonight. Again, his season high is 32. So here come the Vikings, fresh off the timeout. See Camp, top of the key. He finds Lindbergh. Lindbergh, bounce pass to Wilbur. Then finds Leeser, three-point attempt. No good. It's the back and front part of the rim. However, they steal it back. Lindbergh with it. Gives it to Wilbur, swings it to Seacamp. Almost lost it. Kind of slipped through his hands there, but Seacamp regains possession of the basketball. Finds Leeser, right wing. Onalaska has some size on Holman, so it's kind of hard to drive past these guys. Lindbergh has it right corner, goes in. Now he's around the elbow, picked up his dribble. Finds Leeser, who kicks it to Wilbur in the left corner. Wilbur trying to create some space. And he's fouled, trying to drive past Chenault. So Holman trying to use their speed to get past their defenders. Again, Onalaska definitely wins the size battle between the two teams. Inbound goes to Ellis. Quick out to Lindbergh, top of the key, three. Front rim, no good. And then Vikings can't buy a basket. And Onalaska trying to move quick. The pass was not on target. It'll be Vikings ball. Lindbergh will inbound it for the Vikings. And he gives it to Leeser. Leeser finds Seacamp, three-point attempt. Finally, one's good. Peyton Seacamp. Can things turn around for the Vikings? Tonight's leading scorer, Seacamp. Gets another one there. He's got 12. On Alaska, and wow, what a dunk there. Evan Anderson over Landon Ellis, and a quick steal. Three-point attempt from Skemp, no good. Holman gets the rebound, and a foul is called on Isaac Skemp. He was trying to reach around from behind and punch the ball out of Wilbur's hands, and he's called for the foul. Wow, what a dunk there from Evan Anderson. He's not afraid of anyone, it seems like, tonight. Seacamp with it. Driving right. Puts up a jump shot. It's good. Peyton Seacamp. Doing it all for Holman right now. Full court press shown from Holman. 54-24 our score. Ellis tips it. It's Leeser who gets the ball. He puts up a right-hand layup. No good. Ellis there for the rebound. Put back. No good. Limburg rebound. Put back. Foul. And one. Good thing for the Vikings to have that many guys there from the hoop. And it's Parker Lindbergh who finally puts it in. Hopefully he can convert the N1 here. He does not. So 54-26 our score. And a pass was deflected. Let's see who was last touched by. They say last touch by Lindbergh and a timeout will be called. And we'll take a timeout as well. 54-26 our score. This is High School Basketball on WKTY. Cheering for your team at the game can definitely give them a needed push on the field. 
Cheering for your plumber, on the other hand, well, the team at Bernie Buckner can't say it happens every day, but they'll get the job done no matter what. So make some noise for your team at the next game, and if you need a plumber or someone to take on your next commercial HVAC project, call Bernie Buckner. They're proud to support high school athletics, and they aren't afraid to tackle your toilet trouble. Go to BernieBucknerINC.com. All right, we're back from the timeout. It was last touch by Lindbergh, so it'll be on Alaska ball. Trap attempt from Holman, and on Alaska barely gets it by and almost hit the hands of Leeser. Driving layup attempt, no good, and two Hilltoppers crash into each other. Holman has numbers, three point attempt. Toby Newman off the backboard, no good. Lindbergh trying to get the rebound. He's fouled by doing so. So Holman will inbound at their own baseline. 14 minutes to go here in the game. As two Hilltoppers check in. Jack Smith and Brody Mitchell, his first time seeing the floor tonight. Inbound goes Ellis, looking for somebody, finds Seacamp. Seacamp top of the key, finds Lindbergh, thought about the three, does not take it. Gives it to Leeser, Leeser, jump shot from the free throw line, it's good. Jace Leeser with the basket, 54-28 our score. Still a full court press on Alaska. Gets it past half court. Three point attempt is no good. Hit off the front rim. That was Jack Smith who was shooting a three. Vikings try to move quickly. And it was tipped by Hilltopper and Alaska disagrees. They say it was last touched by Skemp. Skemp did not think so. Skemp. Went to the sideline and was looking for the ball, and refs like, no, you're not getting this. So the Vikings will inbound it. It's Seacamp with it. He's got Smith on him. Seacamp finds Lindbergh. Three-point attempt. No good. Rebound goes to Leeser. Vikings have another chance. Over 13 minutes to go here in the ball game. Seacamp finds a wide open Lindbergh in the corner. No good. And ooh. Leeser hit the deck hard, trying to get the offensive rebound. The Vikings do either way. Seacamp will attempt a three. That one's good. Peyton Seacamp for three. His third three of the game. 54-31 our score. Vikings trying to make something happen here. Evan Anderson now crosses over, puts up a shot. He's fouled hard. Vikings not letting Anderson get anything there. He's got to earn it. That foul will be on Toby Newman. So Anderson will get two. Anderson, 25 points in this game. That's 26 right there. Caden Wilbur checks back in. Checks in for Landon Ellis. As Holman looking for the, the shooters really, as they don't have the size here. Seacamp with it, finds Newman. Right wing, Newman finds Leeser. Picked up his dribble early, gives it to Seacamp. Seacamp driving right, backs up. Kicks it to Lindbergh, top of the key, looking around, trying to find Wilbur cutting, does not pass it to him, passes it to Seacamp. Seacamp trying to make some moves happen, but he's denied. Blocked there from Jack Smith. And the Hilltoppers have it now, over 12 minutes ago here in the game, and a cutting Isaac Skemp, and oh, he's fouled as well, and one. Count the basket. Isaac Skemp will get one more free throw. 58-31 is our score. That follows on Leeser. Newman checks out. Iserman checks in for him. And one is converted. 
So it's 59-31. Right now with over 12 minutes to go. Leeser dribbling around. Finds Iserman. Iserman hands it off to Wilbur. Wilbur lost his dribble for a second, but regains possession. Now he drives right, puts up a layup. It's good. Caden Wilbur. With his first field goal basket made. 59-33 our score. Still full court press from Holman. On Alaska, crosses half court. Quick double team there. Last touch by a Hilltopper. Vikings ball. Good defense there. As Noah Chenault, I think, was trapped. And loses the ball. So here come the Vikings. Burgett looking to sub in. He needs to get hot. Couldn't find a bucket in that first half. Heiserman with it. Hands it off to Leeser. Thought about the three for a half second. Drives left or drives right. Spin move left. Layup no good. Hilltoppers have it. Mixell with it. Finds Chanel top of the key. Swings it over. Good ball movement from the Hilltoppers. Two point shot is converted from Adam Skifton. He's got five. Iserman with it. Hands it off to Lindbergh. Lindbergh trying to drive to the middle. Kicks it out. Seacamp for three. That one's good. Peyton Seacamp. Have a night. This third three. Skifton trying to back down Wilbur. He picked up his dribble and kicks it back out. Hilltoppers reset. Now Chenault driving left. He's fouled. Wilbur can't believe it. He thought he blocked it. So Chenault will get two. Wilbur put his hands up right away thinking, what did I do? Yeah, it's tough for these Vikings. Definitely undersized compared to this on Alaska team. So they're trying to beat them with speed offensively, and they've had they've had some looks, especially in that first half, but just couldn't buy a bucket. Aiden Farr and Alex Burnett checks in for Leeser and Lindbergh. Free throw, no good. And everyone's fighting for the ball. Hilltoppers get it. It's Mitchell. He's denied by Seacamp. It's Iserman with it now. Mitchell on Iserman. He crosses half court finally. Driving left. And they'll call a blocking foul. However, I think that will be on the ground. It's a nice looking shot there from Iserman. Inbound goes to Farr. Farr kicks it back to Iserman. Three-point attempt. No good. Front rim. Farr gets the offensive rebound. Seacamp for three. Can he get another? He can. Peyton Seacamp. Four three-pointers. Just keep giving him the ball. 61-39. Under 10 minutes to go here in the game. Jack Smith with it. Farr on him. He finds Chenault. Chenault driving right, puts up a layup. That's good. Oh, Chenault with the bucket. Here's Burgett now. Kicks it back to Iserman. Hands it off to Seacamp, top of the key. What does he do with it? Looking for somebody, hands it off to Burgett. Burgett now, driving left. He's looking for a foul, does not. Kicks it back, Burgett, corner three. That one's blocked. Nice block there from Jack Smith. And he'll sub out after making that block. 9-18 exactly on the clock. Iserman will inbound it from their own baseline. Looking for Farr. Finally gets Farr. As he had a battle for it. Seacamp with it, right wing. Trying to create some space. He's got Anderson on him. The top two scores tonight. No look pass to Farr. Kicks it out. Wilbur. Pump fakes. Side step three. No good. Man, it's a great look too. And there will be a foul call. That one will be on Aiden Farr. 
And as I mentioned, it's not like the Vikings haven't gotten good looks. That one right there was almost perfect. It was a great job, great execution, just could not fall. Trap around the half court line. Onalaska gets out of it. Skifton puts up a layup, no good. Offensive rebound goes to Skemp. Skemp trying to feed it inside to Cole. And he just throws it out of bounds trying to save it. So it'll be Vikings ball. 63-39 our score. Vikings just need some kind of offense that isn't Peyton Seacamp. That or you just keep giving Seacamp the ball. Forget top of the key. Around the Holman logo. Dribbling around, looking around. Hands it off to Seacamp. Seacamp finds Iserman. Top of the key, takes the screen from Seacamp. He then hands it off to Burgett. Burgett driving left, trying to put up a shot. And wow, that was nice. Little acrobat there from Alex Burgett. His first points of the game. Could that be the start of something? 63-41 our score. Cole almost lost it. Finds a skimp cutting, but he puts up a shot. It's no good. And the Vikings trying to push it, and oh. Seacamp was trying to find either Burgett or Iserman. I think it was Burgett, but the pass was not on target. So Jaron Rink will check in for Seacamp. He'll take a breather. Onalaska will inbound it. It's Chenault with Rink on him. Picks up his dribble, hands it off to Cole. He puts up a two, no good. Rebound goes to Iserman. He pushes it with Burgett. Burgett pushes it to Wilbur. Wilbur to Farr inside in the paint. Makes a post move. Goes with the left. It's good. Aiden Farr. Nice move there. Then a timeout is called. Deficit cut down to 20 with 7.41 to go. We'll take a timeout as well. This is High School Basketball on WKTY. I'm Angela Sherwinski. I'm a mortgage loan officer at WMB Financial in Holman. I'm Dave Justice, community president of WMB Financial in Holman. The relationship building we do, the reputations we have, the tenure we have in lending between the two of us, it's almost 40 years. Dave's older than I am, so obviously he's got a few more of those years on me. Holman's got a good thing with Angela in town. She is one of the best mortgage lenders I've ever encountered. Our bank is WMB Financial, and we are all Holman. WMB Financial, more than a bank. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Oh, I have so many resolutions for 2024. Yeah? Like what? Go to the gym, try to keep a plan alive, save some money. I hear you, but you can totally save money with a little help from Citizens First Bank, of course. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they helped me set up a savings account. I can track my transactions with mobile banking. Lots of stuff. Wow, I'll give them a call. From your first account to every other first that comes next. Citizens First Bank. Banking with people. Member FDIC. All right, here we go. Onalaska will inbound it after the timeout called by Holman. They have one timeout left. There's 7.41 on the clock. Now or never. Trying to trap. They do. Picked off. Intercepted. Iserman goes up for two. It's good. Foul. And one. Keenan Iserman. Great job after the timeout for Holman. And nice job from Iserman finishing with the contact. Here we go. Can he convert the and one? Vikings down by 18. And a line violation. I think that was on Holman. So the point won't count. Well, at least for a morale boost, he made the free throw. So you can pretend it was an and one, but Vikings still down 18. 7.26 to go in county. On Alaska, feeds it to Skemp inside. He tried to kick it out to Skift, and he does after a, the pass was tipped. Evan Anderson with it now. Burgett on him. Anderson trying to drive left, kicks it out to Cole. Cole now driving baseline. He tried to find Skemp. That one is stolen away. Here come the Vikings. Burgett with it now. Burgett trying to drive. He loses the ball, but gets it back right away. And kicks it out to Wilbur. They will reset. Under seven to play now. Wilbur, top of the key. Looking for somebody. Finds Burgett. Right wing. Burgett kicks it to Eisenman. Eisenman drives right. He's stuffed by Cole. Alaska trying to move quickly. Evan Anderson with it. Eisenman on him. 
tried to reach around from behind. Did not happen, so Anderson has a pretty easy two-point shot there. Holman moving quick. Burgett ties him in for three. Wide open, connects! Keenan Eiserman. 65-48. Over six to play. Skemp with it. Finds Chenault. Chenault to Skifton. Now Evan Anderson again. With Iserman on him. Taking a screen from Skemp. Trying to reach around from behind. This time he's called with the foul. Peyton Seacamp looking to check in for the Vikings. Maybe to keep this shooting going. He checks in for Aiden Farr. That foul, again, was on Iserman. That's his third personal. It's the team's seventh. And it'll be a one and one. As they reach the bonus, Anderson makes the first. That's his fourth made free throw. 66-48. Misses the second. Offensive rebound goes to Skifton. And a good put back there from Adam Skifton. That's just pure size advantage there. 68-48 our score. On Alaska back up by 20. Wilbur with it. Left wing. Looking around. Driving right. Him and Seacamp weren't on the same page. They're going to the same direction. Seacamp with it now. Left wing, crosses over. I think he was trying to find Burgett. That was tipped. They say last touch by Onalaska. Ian Cole disagrees. Seacamp will inbound it, finds Burgett. Burgett looking around. He's at the top of the key, finds Iserman, who then finds Seacamp. Right corner, kicks it out to Iserman. Iserman starts dribbling now. Vikings tr trying to move around. Off ball. Forget, step back. It would have been a deep two, but does not take it. As he gives it to Iserman. Iserman trying to drive left, picks up his dribble, trying to spin right, kicks it out to Wilbur. Good defense from Onalaska. Deep two point attempt from Caden Wilbur. Could not get any part of the hoop. That's unfortunate there with under five to play. As Leeser looks to check back in for the Vikings. Ian Cole goes up for two. He's fouled on his way up. So he'll go to the line. Sixty-eight forty-eight is our score. The foul's on rink. First free throw attempt is good for Cole. Parker Lindbergh and Jace Leeser checks in for Keenan Iserman and Caden Wilbur. And the second one also good. 70 48 our score. Holman running out of time. Need a bucket here to really have any chance. Lindbergh finds Seacamp, swings it to Leeser. Leeser driving right, meets two Hilltoppers, finds Rink. Rink puts up a two, it's good. Jaron Rink, his first basket, and a timeout will be called by Onalaska. We'll take a timeout as well. 70 50 is our score. This is high school basketball on WKTY. Hungry? Get to the Blue Moon, the Highway 35 landmark across from the Big Fish. We're open and still serving great food specials every day of the week. Sunday, kids eat for just 99 cents. Monday, get 75 cent boneless wings. Got five bucks? Come in Tuesday for $2 off appetizers or Wednesday for $1 wings. Got any friends? Good for you. Bring them in Thursday for burgers. Friday, we've got the best fish fry in town. And Saturday, prime rib. Breakfast till two? Done. Everything you want every day of the week at the Blue Moon. 
Remember when service stations actually cared about service? These days, it seems like fast and good enough are the new standards. Andy's Main Street Auto doesn't see it that way. When you stop into Andy's for a full service oil change, you get real service. Your oil change comes with a 21-point inspection, including brakes. Plus, all of your fluids get topped off. Top to bottom, front to back, for 50 years, Andy's has been repairing your car or truck. Andy's Main Street Auto in Holman putting service back into service stations. All right, welcome back. 4-11 left on the clock. Vikings, their backs are against the wall. They really have been all game. Now or never, down 20. Because they're still trying to trap. And a foul is called. And I think that one will be on Seacamp. As he was guarding Anderson, so Anderson will get one and one. I think it's the ninth team foul. Yeah, it is. So still one and one bonus. Again, if Anderson makes it, he'll get another one. If he misses it, the rebound is up for grabs. Makes the first one. Makes the second, that is 31 points for Evan Anderson. One point shy of his season high this year. Over four minutes to go, 72-50 our score. Leeser driving right, puts up a shot, no good. Rebound goes to the Hilltoppers. They move quickly, Anderson puts up the two. Hits the front rim and rolls in. And Evan Anderson has a new season high, 33 points. As the Vikings lose it there. Onalaska gets it. Nice trap there, good double team. Leeser puts up the layup, it's good, 74-52. Courtesy of Jace Leeser. Hilltoppers trying to move quickly again. Now they slow things down with Noah Chenault. Reach around from behind, it was poked loose, but goes straight out of bounds. So it'll be a last touch by Leeser. And Evan Anderson will check out. I think he's done tonight. Great game from him. Again, 33 points on the night. Not a bad display of basketball from him. Hilltoppers inbound it. Skemp, left side, back in C camp down, looking around, kicks it out to Cole. Cole is fouled as he goes up for two. And every Viking just kind of throwing their hands up, like what, what do you want from us defensively? They're trying to do everything they can to stop them without fouling, but. Again, the size just Definitely on the Hilltoppers' favor. Roden Steiner was the one that checks in for Anderson. And a, another lane violation is called. Two lane violations in one game. That's the most I've ever seen. So free throw won't count anyways. Newman, right corner. Steiner on him. Trying to kick it out to Seacamp, it ends into the hands of Leeser instead after it was tipped. Leeser spins around, puts up a two. That one's a little too strong, but he's fouled. On his way up, so he'll get two. Uh, he was looking for a high five from Newman, didn't get it. So he high fived himself. First attempt is good from Leeser. 74-53, under three minutes to play. He'll make them both. So Leeser at two for two on free throws tonight. Mike is again still showing full court. Nice effort there from Newman, but oh, just stepped out of bounds. Great hustle there to try to make something happen with 2.50 to go. 74-54, our score. 
Newman, this time he gets it. He's successful. Kicks it out to Leeser. Nice job there. Feeds it to Rink inside. Kicks it out to Seacamp. Seacamp, Leeser, deep three. Hits the front rim, no good. And a foul is called. A pushing foul, I think, on Newman. Oh, that would have been sweet if the Vikings could convert off of that Newman steal. So Isaac Skemp will get two. They are in the double bonus. Skemp has made four free throws tonight. And he'll still be at four as he misses the first one. Misses them both. Leeser with the board. He'll push it up the court. Two and a half minutes to go in the game. Hands it off to Newman who finds Lindbergh. Lindbergh, top of the key. Little jab step, then tries to drive left. Spin move. Finds Leeser, then back to Lindbergh. Lindbergh hands it off to Rink inside. Almost loses it. He's double teamed. Trying to find somebody. Finds Leeser. Leeser drives right. Puts up a layup. Fouled and one. Jace Leeser. Being aggressive, letting his teammates know, hey, let's still show some fight here. 74-56. The score, Lisa makes the free throw. 74-57. Holman down 17. Still full court press shown. On Alaska crosses half court. It's Chenault with it. Skip pass to Cole. Trying to feed Steiner inside. Turnover. It'll be Vikings ball. 2.02 on the clock. And Leeser talking to his teammates. Let's go. Come on. Still show some effort. Leeser finds Seacamp. Left wing. Driving right. Trying to find Rink inside. And it'll be a jump ball. Possession arrow. Vikings. So Leeser will inbound it at his own baseline on the O of Holman. Gives it to Rink. Back to Leeser, left wing. Skipped it on him. Leeser puts up a two-point shot. That looked pretty. Jace Leeser. Nice job there, and oh. Say last touch by a Viking. Lindbergh respectfully disagrees. 131 on the clock, 15 point game. Nice tip there from Rink, and they say Hilltoppers ball again. Good job from the Vikings, still showing effort with a minute 31 to go. His inbound goes to Skemp. He's on the right wing, he's trapped. Feeds it to skift it inside. Uh, it looks like they're not looking to score. Trying to run this clock out as much as possible. Foul's called. Lindbergh can't believe it. It's a frustrating game from Holman. Shots just weren't going in for a while there at the end of the first half and the start of the second half. They started falling a little bit more as of late, but just cannot stop on Alaska and their size. And Chenault makes the first free throw. That's his first made. He's had a couple attempts. Brody Mitchell checks in for Isaac Skemp. And Tristan Malling will also check in or Adam Skifton. And Jack Smith as well, why not? Or are they not gonna let him? Nope, they'll let him shoot. 75-59 the score. On Alaska, up 16. Misses the second free throw. Here come the Vikings. Quick pass to Newman, puts up a two. That one's no good, as Steiner was on him. Just over a minute to go. Chenault loses it. Vikings get it back. Newman 
Almost smacked the ball in the face there. As he couldn't catch the pass cleanly. But the Vikings still have it. Skip pass over to Leeser for three. Can he stay hot? Cannot there. And the rebound goes to the Hilltoppers. And a foul on Newman. 46.9 seconds left. So it'll be Brody Mitchell. Two free throw attempts. A couple more Hilltoppers will check in. Emptying the bench a little bit. First free throw made. 76-59. Mitchell makes them both. And it's 77 59 on Alaska up 18. See what the Vikings can do here with the last couple of seconds. That one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Mitchell in on Alaska. Vikings ball. Lisa will inbound it. Looking around. Finds Rink. Who hands it back off to Leaser. Three point attempt. Just short. Hits the front rim. No good. And 30 seconds left. As pressure still being applied from the Vikings, still showing as much effort as possible. Leeser kicks it out. Seacamp, will he shoot it again? No, he won't. Finds Limber, corner three. That one caught air. No good. And bodies on the ground fighting for a jump ball. Possession arrow on Alaska. 12.3 seconds to go. And it was just not Holman's game tonight. Shots weren't falling, a couple of costly turnovers early in the game, and really just being mismatched, undersized, has helped on Alaska get a lot of points today. And a lot of foul calls. One second left, Slimber puts up a shot, it's no good, and that'll do it here at the Bernie L. Ferry Fieldhouse in Holman, Wisconsin. Our final score is 77 59. On Alaska is victorious. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Or Scott doing behind the scenes. I'm Tyler Belke saying so long from Holman. Have a great night, everybody.